Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Thursday, October 24, 2019. Here's an update on the 1937 20-foot Lyman runabout. I'll hand it over to RJ to uh, give us an update and catch us up on where we are. Well, um, I sanded everything with 60 grit on the top of the boat. Um, then I installed these combings which were big long huge screws that went down through then we bunged them and sanded the bungs in uh, there's still some little imperfections on the combings that we're going to touch up with a uh, wood thick cell and then sand that in so that they look perfect uh, we're also taping off these seams in the deck because the old filler, a lot of it still adhered really well and it's okay, but there's little tiny splits down through it. So we're taking a... That's what Anthony's uh, in the process of doing right now. Yeah, we're taking a total bolt uh, Fixo Flex and taping off each seam and going down through it with the Fixo Flex and then puttying it off. And filling each one of the little seams with a crack in it. Uh, then we'll sand that thick saw in. And then we'll finish sand everything here with 80 grit and bleach it. Once the bleach cures, then we'll be able to sand or stain the CPS the top of the boat. And then it's varnish time, huh? Yep. And while this has been going on, you guys have made real progress on varnishing and painting everything that goes inside, right? Yep, the bilge is completely painted. Uh, these are some of the varnish pieces that are done. There's a few more that are being finished up right now. And uh, then we'll have to, we actually have to paint the edges of them pieces, but then they'll be ready to install. And we have the dashboard that once we finish sand everything with 80 before we bleach, we'll install the dashboard and sand that in with the rest of the boat. And then the top sides we painted with uh, provisionally with a low luster uh, black paint. Uh, what we're concluded is that it's really left to finish not unlike a chalkboard, huh? Right. So, uh, we will be... You just touch it and it leaves a mark on the boat. Yeah, it's great paint, but it's not a great finish. It's a great primer and base coat. So, we will be applying three or four coats of uh, Pettit's Easy Poxy topside paint in a high gloss black, which should really make this boat pop. So, the major issues in this project are quickly disappearing into our wake. Uh, this varnishing will take several weeks, but each coat is just a small investment of time. It's, it's more materials than it is labor at this point. And very quickly, she's going to be really beginning to show what she brings uh, to the table. We'll have her ready for water next spring without any question. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.